hello guys welcome to part 3 of chat application series in this uh, tutorial we will be learning how to add the login uh, pages for the registered user and uh, for that we need to achieve something like this we want to add uh, this login link here and uh, if we click on that we want to redirect the user to this page and if user provides invalid username or password uh, then we want to display the error message over here to say that uh, invalid credentials so let me quickly move to visual studio first of all i apply this login li link and we know that that uh, this header is being uh, populated through the uh, layout page and this layout page is present under views folder and inside that under shared folder and this is the layout page now i copy and paste this link and i change the text for this link here i change the display text for this link as login and the action method uh, can be login and we want to create this action method in the account controller but for now we have not created this action method to create that action method we will have to so if you run the project in this uh, mode you will see that header looking like that so we have login but if i click on this we have not added the login uh, action method in account controller that's why it's saying that resource is not found so let's quickly add that login so let me copy this one I copied this uh, HTTP get action, action method and I paste over here and I change the name of this action method to login and I change it here as well login now guys if we want to achieve something like this that we want to create a login view that must look like this so for that we need to have some model class that must uh, have username and password property so so far we do not have that kind of class so we know that for view purpose only we can add some class that uh, uh, that can provide us functionality like this that is uh, we can have some view model class so let me quickly add the class in view models folder and i name that class as uh, login VM or login view model so under that uh, class login view model and inside this class we just need two properties that is username and password and let me quickly add those two properties and this must be of type string and uh, username And this username must be required sorry let me resolve the namespace and this password is also required and uh, that's it one more properties to set here this must be look like as password field so uh, we want to hide the characters we want to show the dots when a user enters his, his or her password so we change the data type of this uh, uh, property to the password now we can add the view we can add view for this login action method add view and we can provide here the create scaffolding template and we can provide the login view model class and we do not pass the data context class because uh, our view models are not the database classes these are just for view purpose only so we are going to add the login view and we want to change the button type from btn default to btn success to look like this 
so let me quickly do that so this is the login view that is uh, rendered here we do not we want just this login at the top and we do not need anything under that so i remove this h4 login vm so i have removed that login vm from here now what can i do i can pass here success class so i deleted this link and uh, i have passed this success class over here and uh, now if i run the project now you can see that we have uh, almost things like this so we have created this now if i if i hit enter or uh, we want to change the text over here to this add the button login so now what we want we want to add the post action method for this login method so that we may check whether the given credentials are correct or not now to make that happen we use http post and now this action method must accept what kind of object guess before i write here so yes this action method must accept login view model and we make its object and now what we can do here we can take a boolean variable and uh, name it something like exists and we can query to our database uh, db dot users dot uh, any if there is any user uh, use such that that user dot uh, username is equal equal to this posted object dot username and u dot password is equal equal to the posted object dot password so if that is true that means if that username and password uh, exist in the t uh, in the database so we know that the user exists in the table so i apply log logic here if user not exists if user not exists i may return from here or i can simplify it if exist if user exist we want user to re redirect to the we want user to redirect to the index action method of chat room otherwise we want to return to this login view and we know that if user uh, does not exist the control will come over here and it will again return the same login view so we want to prepare a view back i comment here if user if invalid that means if the username and password or both are wrong we want to prepare some error message here and we say here in valid so we want to again go back to the same login view so you can break point here and check uh, by executing like i break point here and i break point here as well now if i run this project from pressing control uh, by pressing f5 or the play button up here
let's go to login page and uh, we provide some username and password here like admin and uh, invalid password has been given by me I hit enter and now if I show you this object has got the username and password uh, values you can see here and if I continue from here now you can see that this exist is false because that user that pa at that password there is no user okay guys even if the username is correct but the password is wrong so that is why this is false so if this is false we know that control comes over here and uh, if i continue view bag has got that message but th that message is not showing up here Wh why is that because we have populated this view bag in our uh, uh, controller action method but we did never use this uh, view bag in at our uh, login view so i go to that uh, view and i use that uh, variable over here and we know that if the variable has got we want to use it under this horizontal row and uh, I paste that variable name here and we know that if uh, when the first time this view will be rendered because this view will not uh, view back will not have that value so first time it will not fire that error so before I run the project I must wrap it in some heading or uh, paragraph I wrap it in h4 let's say and I say I pass the class text danger text danger so that it must look like a danger text and I copy and paste this uh, variable value inside this heading so that it must look like a reddish text so now again now you can see that we are viewing we have used the view bag but this view bag has not got that value we know that this view bag will only have that value when we try to give invalid credentials and uh, it is when this view bag is populated and we go back to this view so i have run the project i have provided invalid username and password if i hit login you can see that we have got this invalid credentials now breakpoint did not occur because I run the project by pressing control F5 I run the project without, uh, without debugging so that is why uh, breakpoints did not fire so guys this is very simple we can uh, pass that very uh, that view bag under this password and uh, this will have uh, this error message will show up here and things like that so we have successfully created our login and register pages but one thing uh, i have missed i have accidentally deleted that register uh, link from here i quickly go to our uh, layout page and i i create that link over here and uh, this is a display text as a register and uh, action method name is register and the controller name is account controller I again run the project and now if I go to register I can come here and I go if I go to login I come here so uh, in our next uh, tutorial we will be uh, working on over uh, if I provide correct username and password and I come to the chat room now in our next tutorial we will be manage managing over this view and we will have to provide here a text box and post to post new comments and the other comments can uh, be replied and things like that so guys uh, that's it for today uh, do subscribe and like my videos and share them as well and uh, that's it have a great day